Hey yo, what is up FPG fam? Further here and welcome back to another Aether Gazer video. We are now in the year 2024. That's crazy to say. Happy New Year's if I haven't said that to you already. I thought for the first video of the new year, it would be really fun to provide you my top five favorite modifiers I use on global currently i get this question a lot that's one of the reasons why i wanted to go ahead and do this video but i thought it'd be a fun video to get you guys engaged and be cool to see how this changes down the road because i'll update this obviously as new modifiers come out and i'm also interested to see who your top five are let me know in the comments down below for global or if you're cn exclusive let me know who your current top five favorite modifiers are to use in cn I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my top five and I'm going to give my reasons on why they are my top five. It's going to be gameplay. It's going to be enjoyment of their kit. It's going to be their skills and, and, you know, how well they play fast and flashy. You know, all the things that pertain to what I enjoy and what I look for in a modifier. So once again, I do hope you guys enjoy today's video. I'm going to hop in. But before we do few quick announcements first and foremost a massive shout out to the sponsor of the channel gamer subs if you want anything from gamer subs a link will be in the description down below go ahead and click on that link take you right over to gamer subs go ahead and check out their store they have amazing new items there collectibles waifu cups waifu shirts and gamer subs if you want anything or see something that you like use code further beyond gaming at checkout get 10 percent off everything in the store you save so that way you're not paying full price and you're also supporting the channel so we can do bigger and better things thank you guys so much also while you're in the description you see that the description is very different we have the latest subscriber that's listed on there so if you want to be on there possibly go ahead and consider subscribing join the fpg fam would love to have you stick around we're trying to hit 40k we're still on our way also the latest member you'll see on there as well so you could be lucky if you join and become an fpg family member supporting the channel a little bit further beyond your name could appear there as well so some really cool benefits you could also tip the channel once again so we could do bigger and better things thank you guys so much for all the support and the last thing there is a download link to blue stacks it's my affiliate link i play ether gazer global and cn both on blue stacks and with the right settings it plays like butter if you want to try it out for yourself go ahead and consider downloading using that link once again helps us support the channel thank you guys so much for everything i do truly appreciate it with that being said let's go ahead and hop right in to my number five we're gonna start with number five my number five most favorite modifier to use on global currently is anubis this might come as a shock because i don't talk about him too often uh and i still need to complete his build but i truly love using anubis if you know me and you've been on the channel for any amount of time you guys know i like fast and flashy and all over the place and anubis fits that bill to the t he is fast he is flashy with his dodges uh, he has some range to him so he's pretty versatile in that aspect and he's melee predominantly melee but has some range to him as well i love his concept of the weapon it being a pistol and it being i'm not too sure what you would call that like a dagger sword thing um but he is very cool as a unique gameplay style because he has upu the wolf doggo that comes out the jackal i guess you could say that comes out and fights alongside him and then you fuse with him like a power ranger and uh, you start to pop off he hits like a truck he's just tons of fun to use um so anubis is one that i really enjoy as you can see i need to go ahead and complete his build i haven't done that yet one of those you know modifiers that got put on the back burner i'd like his design as well would love for him to have a skin um but anubis number five for me moving on to number four this may come as a shock this may not come as a shock but this is hades hades is the gameplay for me was incredibly fun in the beginning i mentioned this before gameplay in the beginning was incredibly fun trying to figure out how to micromanage that divine grace at the time that she dropped it was very unique something that was different that no other modifier you really had to micromanage their resources like that um so it was fun trying to figure that out but once you did figure that out you realize it's not that difficult to do the puppets are a very unique concept as well very fun to play around with um but once you once again figured out the micromanaging you realize it's not that difficult um her gameplay became not the most fun to use because you realize you're just kind of sitting in place and the puppets are doing all the work right but what makes hades so much fun to use and watch he's number four for me is because she is just overpowered <laughs> and whenever you're using something overpowered a lot of times it can be incredibly fun because when you just melt health bars and you nuke things 
it could be satisfying to a degree right now over time that can be something that is a detriment and becomes not as fun uh but for the time being right now hades is still incredibly fun to use in that aspect just nuking things or just bringing her out when you're experiencing something that's difficult and then just having her solo it uh that could be incredibly fun as well so hades gameplay not the most fun in my opinion for me personally after i figured her out but nuking things and melting health bars and the puppet aspect is incredibly fun and her design is a 10 out of 10 so hades number four for me moving on to number three my girl bastet here once again the fast and flashy play style her character design is a 10 out of 10 s rank bastet when <laughs> i'm looking forward to that um hopefully sometime soon her teleporting all over the place the amount of crits that she can do her kit in general is just incredibly fun to use um she's a trace modifier and for me trace modifiers are always uh top tier in terms of gameplay i just really enjoy their gameplay style but bastet is just one character that i've just really drawn a liking to and i you could see really built up a lot um she's one of the a rank modifiers that i've really invested into um, she has probably arguably one of the best skins in the, in the game, if not the best skin in the game here, which for some reason I still don't have unlocked. I need to go ahead and correct that here uh, after this video. And she has one of the best ultimate skill chains in the game, if not the best in global. So Bastet, number three, she's phenomenal. I really do enjoy her and she's an A rank, so you can Omega her um, with time and investment. Moving on to number two, and that's going to be my man, Oceanus here um, when Oceanus dropped it was right after Hades if I'm not mistaken and it was just a far cry in terms of gameplay difference between those two um, with Oceanus he is literally and I mean quite literally all over the place and he has a very unique gameplay style with those clones um, having to go ahead and have those guys out fighting alongside you doing tremendous amount of damage this man is teleporting all over the place he is iframing all over the place he really is one that fits my gameplay style he hits like an absolute truck with the right investment he has a great synergistic team as well so oceanus is for me top tier when it comes to gameplay when it comes to kit when it comes to damage and the kit is very straightforward right so it's not too complicated um he's one that i still need to actually fully build out i haven't fully built him out just yet um in terms of min maxing but I'm getting there and design you know he's an absolute gentleman right absolute gentleman and Oceanus is just one of those where once you pick him up it's hard to put him down right now moving on to number one and this really shouldn't be to anyone's surprise if you've been on the channel and that's my girl Thor the juggernaut herself Unga Bunga personified that is what this modifier is currently on global she's my most favorite modifier to use she's probably my most well invested you can see i got the skin for her which is a 10 out of 10 chef's kiss um but thor really exceeded my expectations when it comes to her kit when it comes to the fun factor when it comes to her gameplay uh, when it comes to the amount of damage that she does i've heard good things about her uh, but actually using her in practice and fully building her out uh, this modifier is everything that I look for. Once again, she's Unga Bunga all over the place. She has the follow-up skills where she's just swinging the hammer all over the place. She has invul on just about everywhere within her kit. Um, so that makes her extremely friendly to play and comfortable because you have those invuls. Like, especially on the ult, you're completely invulnerable and you cannot be CC'd. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. And then when your follow-up skills... She has invul on that as well. And then when she's slamming that hammer down with the follow-up attack, she's doing tremendous amount of damage. She is just incredible. Once again, design is 10 out of 10. And she's just all over the place. The tracking on that skill 3 with the follow-up is insane. And she's just flying all over the place. The dodge is extremely fast. Um, so she's just a fun, fun modifier. Like far more fun than I thought she was ever going to be. And I just think that's because she's extremely fast. Like, if she was very slow, because she has a big hammer, and she's swinging it very slow. Like, you know the, the trope where you have a big weapon, so you gotta sw swing it very slow. Um, if that was the case, then she probably wouldn't be as fun to me. But because that's not the case, and because she's extremely fast, 
um i think that makes her 10 times more fun to use not to mention her team with living solo cyrus and doing that ultimate skill chain is incredibly satisfying as well her hits are just very hard hitting I don't know, just everything about this modifier just exceeded my expectations and I truly enjoy using her. So she's my number one modifier to date on the global. So let me know what your top five is down in the comments below. Once again, we should be having flame tier coming up here probably next week. Um, so I'm excited to go ahead and try and pull him and then use him and then see if my list changes. Once again, we'll update this list as we go along. Uh, because it will change for sure i have a sienna can i've been using those modifiers over there the the list will change <laughs> a thousand percent the list will change anyways guys this was just a quick fun video for you i do hope you enjoy get you engaged a little bit and i cannot wait to see what your lists are to read them and to go ahead and give you some comments on them once again check out the description down below there's a lot going on there and I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You call me further. I'll see you all next one. Bye, guys.